Good morning. Uh, hi. We return. I have a lot of explaining to do. I'm gonna sit you down on the tripod here so we can have a serious little heart to heart. Maybe I don't have to explain that much because it's the end of the semester. You can probably guess kind of what's going on, why there hasn't been so much activity lately. But so exactly what happened was uh, I, I'm a communications student. I've mentioned this in the mass communications program. There is, as part of our internship, a required trip to uh, Las Vegas, the uh, NAB convention, the National Association of Broadcasters. So you may have seen my uh, Lewis U student point of view video about travel study, which I uh, made while I was in Vegas. So you may be wondering, hey, you were able to do that, why couldn't you vlog while you were there, you lazy trash can? Well, I uh, wasn't able to edit anything there, so I could film all I wanted, but I wasn't able to edit daily. I did bring my laptop with me, but it's five years old and doesn't like existing anymore, so it's time to be put in a closet, that, that poor Poor, poor boy. He did a good job. So that's what's up, and then after that, school just ramped up, and it's been absolutely nuts, and I, I haven't had a free moment, and I've really been trying to get back to this because I need to, and I need to finish out uh, the year of videos on this channel, so uh, here we are. Last actual week of classes is a thing that I just realized yesterday, and now we're going to finish out this week with uh, favorite professors, and then the next week will either be stress or people's goodbyes or both. I don't know, we'll see. It's a crazy time. So this video uh, is gonna serve as my favorite professor week video. So here we go with that. I'm a senior, as I've mentioned, so I feel particularly equipped to answer this question because I've had all the professors I'm ever going to have. I feel like a lot of the, the themes for the weeks were geared towards seniors though because I wrote them and I am a senior so but so favorites uh, if you if you know me you probably know are a hard thing for me to pick people come up to me and they'll be like what's your favorite movie and I'm like I can't do that that's not a thing that I am equipped to do anyway um, I've had a lot of great professors uh, in my time at Lewis particularly in my major everybody has been uh, incredibly knowledgeable, and I have so much respect for uh, each and every one of the professors that I have uh, had a class with during my time here. Some of the professors that have really had an impact on me include uh, John Kilpatrick, who is uh, the main TV guy over in the radio and TV station in Mass Communications. Um, he has won Emmys for his editing on The Oprah Show. Let that sink in. So as uh, an avid editor, that that's a little bit of a joke for anybody who knows editing software. But as an editor, I thought it was really cool that we have like an actual Emmy Award winning editor here at our school. I really, I love editing, I, I love being behind the camera and the entire process of it, but for some reason I just really, really dig editing. It's like that's the, that's the real art of, of the filmmaking thing, so I, I dig that. And he's a big editing guy. And uh, he's also he's also a lot of fun. He's a funny guy. Another professor in my field. Um, I haven't had a lot of classes with him, but John Kerry. I, um, I I urge you, viewer, to find someone who can talk for a longer amount of time about this industry, about the communication industry. That man knows a lot. He has a lot of connections. And then of course there's uh, Dr. Nolf, who is no longer at the university, but he. I had a lot of classes with him because he was like all of the filmmaking classes and that's sort of the route that I went. And uh, he ran the class in which I created my first uh, short film at all, my first documentary, um, which I mentioned before and to this day I'm so proud of. So that was really awesome and he gave me a lot of encouragement. So he was uh, pretty important to my time here at Lewis. Outside of my field, there have also been a lot of great professors. Um, I took a workshop last year, I believe, uh, for humor writing, which caught my eye because I, I just love comedy. I always have. I was brought up on um, big British comedies, and so I've always sort of had the comedy gene rolling around in my brain. So Paul Gaysack is the guy who runs that workshop, and he's a really cool guy. He got us to, you know, critique comedy, and I really loved that. And then he got us to write a thing and submit it to places like uh, Mick Sweeney's or Funny or Die who, you know, do stuff like that. 
Um, and that was really cool. That was an awesome opportunity. He was a really funny guy, a really fun professor, and I really had a good time at that workshop. This semester I took a uh, digital photography class uh, just to, I didn't need it, uh, just to fill out my schedule. It was just an elective, and it was really incredibly awesome. It was with a guy named Mark Swain. Um, he is involved in a lot of art stuff um, at Lewis. That class was amazing, and he's a really cool guy. He's really chill. He's really into what he's doing. He's really into photography and into talking about art. And every week we would have, um, or like alternating weeks, we'd have a critique one-on-one -on -one with just him and a few other students who were on our day, and then we'd have a big group critique with the entire class where we would talk about our photos. And he really helped walk you through what compositionally makes a good photo, and yeah. He also does a workshop called uh, Chicago Art Scene, and I encourage anyone who, even if you don't need the credit, it's it's one credit, uh, take it. You go downtown for a day and you look at art galleries, and it's incredibly awesome. It's really, it's really loose. I took it this semester, and I had a ton of fun. It was great. Kristen Callahan was another uh, professor whose workshop I took this semester, another art professor. All of the art people are really cool, because they're art people. And, like, maybe that's not everybody's thing, but for me, that's, you know, that's... That's kind of my jam. So these are all professors that I have absolutely loved being in class with and had a big impact on uh, my academic career and like keeping me into what I'm doing, which is awesome, but I don't think we've hit upon my favorite professor yet. That title, I think, goes to Dr. Simone Mensch, who I have taken exactly two classes with, and she's awesome. Dr. Mensch is in the English department, but she also does uh, a lot of classes for the film studies minor, which unfortunately I didn't have time to to get. I wish I would have taken more film classes to get that minor, but oh well. So I took uh, Intro to Film Studies and then the horror film with her last semester and this semester respectively. Oh, she's also the uh, faculty advisor for the uh, Jet Fuel Review, the Jet Fuel uh, blog, which um, my sister founded and, and started, so that's a thing. So while all the classes that I took uh, in my major, all my major classes, prepared me and were incredibly necessary and vital and instrumental in me doing this thing that I'm that I'm going to be doing, that I hope to be doing for the rest of my life, um, Simone's classes, Dr. Mensch's classes, also did that, but in a different way. Anything you think you know about film, if you think you're you're big into film, you know maybe you are, but take one of Dr. Mensch's classes, and you'll be wrong. She will just open the film up in a whole new way, and take horror, for example. I have never liked uh, the horror films. I've never gotten them. I've always sort of written them off in my brain and been like, Psh, I know I don't want to see that because it's just violence and blood, and who cares about that? And then I took the horror film this semester because I knew it was with Dr. Mensch, and I knew that she kind of blew my mind with film last semester, so I was like, okay, wait, maybe I'm wrong. And I was so, so very wrong, and it's great. I now have an appreciation for the history and the language, all of these undertones running in horror film, and might actually be a lot more interested in horror film now. But it's not just that she's a great teacher, it's, or maybe this is part of being a great teacher, but she also, like, treats her students like people, and she's always, the way that um, class discussion works is she's always, she's having a conversation with us, and she's not, you know, saying this is what's right and you're wrong. I mean, sometimes it is, because sometimes we're very wrong. But it always feels like a very fun and welcoming class, and everything that uh, happens in that class, happens for a purpose, all of the assignments, none of the assignments feel like, you know, just busy work, like we're having assignments just to have assignments. It's also, it's always for the purpose of getting us to talk about film and to think deeper about film. So she does that very well. She's very knowledgeable about film. She's incredibly well spoken. I just have a ton of respect for her as a person. And yeah, thank you Dr. Mensch for these past two classes, because they've been a lot of fun. I've learned more about film in the past two semesters with her than I ever had before. I could learn about making film, I knew what all of the angles and shots were, but a lot of the deeper meanings and artfulness beneath film, uh, I'm a little embarrassed to say I just hadn't hit upon yet, and uh, I have now, and it feels really cool. I feel like I have more of an appreciation for this 
craft that I love and want to start making myself, and that's, uh, that's really important to me. Thank you for watching, stay tuned for, uh, Beth. I'm not, I'm, I have to get everybody's up this week, so Beth will probably also go up today. I'm gonna try to, I got a lot to pull off, so we'll see what happens. But stay tuned, and we are gonna finish out the semester with more vlogs. So, thank you all for watching, and, uh, you'll see me in probably one more video. Bye.